Hey everybody, welcome back to Astroneer. Now, we are here on Silva, back at our base, and I had said at the end of the last episode that I was going to start working on the rail missions here, but before we do that, I, do, I did want to get started with a little bit of automation to prepare for the future. So, where is our rover? Did we package it up? Yes, we did package it up. Okay. The idea that I had was I would get started with automation by setting up an, uh, a hydrazine automation system. Uh, we've been a little bit kind of hard pressed to find ammonium here on Silva. And so I think what I want to do is set up a, a system that will turn a full canister of soil into a, uh, a handful of hydrazine for us, just so that we can kind of be able to have as much hydrazine as we want, as soon as we want it. So, 32 units of soil, which I think is what the canister holds, will turn into 16 ammonium, which will then turn into 8 hydrazine. I believe that's the math. And where are we going to set this up? Let's see. We need to get a quick meal set up for Sylvie, so we have plenty of light. Easy enough to do with our farm over here. And then we got to figure out where do we want to set up our hydrazine automation. Uh, you know what? Most of the other side over here, on the other side, is not really doing... We're not really using space over here. So, let's go ahead and get out our flattening tool and make ourselves a little area for some hydrazine automation. So, the general idea is we're going to have... Uh, some kind of platform where soil gets tr generated in a new soil centrifuge into ammonium, which then feeds into a chemistry lab and produces hydrazine output. And I'm going to use the auto arm for one part of that, I think maybe two, in order to make, uh, in order to make, uh, in order to complete one of our missions. So we do have a mission here for automation. Arm yourself. Yes, let's track this one. Print an auto arm and store a resource with an auto arm. Okay. So, to get us started, we're going to need a platform for the two machines, the soil centrifuge and the chemistry lab. And we're going to have to print a couple of those. So, I think we're going to start with a platform that I haven't really used that much of, which is the large platform C. And if we come over here to print that... Extra large platform C takes two resin and two iron. Is this the one I want? I'm not sure. I'm not entirely sure that it is. That will definitely store the two components, but we'll have to fill up the rest so that we don't get auto storage nonsense happening. Yeah, you know what? We will do it. All right, so let's get two iron and two resin going. Uh, where's our hematite? Over here. Now, what's on our back right now? Ah, the unusual device. And uh, it's been a couple of days since I played. What do we have? Drill Mod 3 and the Wide Mod? That's all basically fine. Okay. Let's store this away over here at our table of stuff. We can go right there for now. Let's get our two iron going. And then we're also going to need to print another soil centrifuge and another chemistry lab. Now, the soil centrifuge, I believe, is resin and compound. Maybe two? I'm not sure. Let's see. Soil centrifuge. Two compound and one aluminum. Okay, so I was wrong about that. Two compound and one aluminum. Uh, let's get those going. Let's see. Do we have laterite at the moment? No, but we have some aluminum. Okay. Let's get the soil centrifuge printing. And then if we come over here and grab our iron, we can get our large platform C going. Uh, one, two, three, and four. Extra large platform C. 
We're also going to need our rover and another soil canister. We're going to need our rover ready to go so we can fill up a bunch of soil. Let's unpack it. Uh, over here seems fine. And then we have this coal that we're not using right now. Where is our paver and our drill? So here's our soil canister. And there's our seat. Let's throw the seat on here. And let's get our drill. And I'm not sure we need the paver, but... Yeah, let's leave it for now. Uh, let's throw one of these on here to power it. Throw this on as well. There we go. Because all we're going to use this for is filling it up with soil. What else do we have over here? The medium printer. This stuff can all stay where it is. Uh, we are going to need a second medium fluid and soil canister. So what does that entail? Uh, that's probably at the medium printer. What is this? Here's our soil centrifuge. Okay. We're also going to need another chemistry lab. Let's see what that involves. Ceramic, glass, and tungsten. Okay. So let's get that started. Uh, do we have glass anywhere? Or do I need to make some? I don't see any. Hmm. Okay. Ceramic. Uh, Wolframite for tungsten. And, or that's glass, and then we have a piece of ceramic. Okay. So glass and tungsten. It's taking its sweet time to print up over here. That's fine. Let's get the chem lab printing. Ceramic. Wait, do I not have ceramic? Oh, I, I grabbed tungsten by mistake. Okay. Let's throw this back over here. And grab this ceramic. There we go. Get the chem lab printing. And here's our extra large platform C. Let's get this set up over here. And we are gonna need to connect this to power somehow. So I suppose we want it to look something like this. Let's lock that in and connect that up. Okay. Then we're going to put the two things there. We're going to need to prevent these from being used for storage. So let's grab, actually, uh, we need to fill this up. And then we need, we're going to want to print another one because we're going to leave that one there. So let's come to the small printer and see about a medium fluid and soil canister. One plastic and one glass. All right. So we're out of quartz again. We can print some up, I think, if we need to. And then for plastic... Uh, where is the chem lab? Here we go. For plastic, we need carbon and compound. Okay, do we have carbon? Not right now. And we're out of compound again. Okay. Well, let's throw the organic on. Get our, co our compound and carbon here. Okay. Oops, that's not what I want to do. Print the plastic. Let's see, these can go over here. Let's get our second soil canister printing at the small printer. Okay. And then the other thing we should do real quick is just fill this up. So, let me hop in and we'll go over, we'll go away from the base a bit and just dig down and get ourselves some soil going. Let's get a goodly ways away. Over here seems fine. Let's start digging.
Okay. Oh, wait. We didn't bring the paver. Okay. Nope, that's definitely... Uh, okay, that's a problem. Oops. Okay, so, hold on. <laughs> Not quite as simple as I thought. So here now we angle it up, but... And then to the right... No, we're gonna we're gonna keep falling here. Let's go like this, and then angle ourselves up so that we're not. All right, this cavern this cavern's gonna make it impossible for us. All right, so what we can do? Let's turn that off. I guess we'll just turn around here and we'll go a little bit more out this way yeah we can just dig into the mountains that'll that'll that should work right oh there's just there's caverns everywhere man how am I gonna do this come over here and just dig like a shallow shallow little, little pit here. There we go. And if we level out here, we can just dig into the mountainside. Okay, we can dig into this hill. Go forward like this. And slowly fill up on soil. And then dig our way out. Come on. Here we go. Okay, so now we've got a full soil canister, and we're a little bit stuck, but we can maneuver our way out. Okay, there we go. I should, I guess I should just bring the paver. My thought was that it would be more efficient not to, because the paver obviously will use some of the soil that we're digging, but uh, the cavern layer causes problems. So next time we do this, we will bring the paver along as well. Let's get back to base. And we should we should have a bunch of stuff ready now. Okay, let's uh, let's stop here. Let's hop out. I guess we can gather up this uh, this com this carbon or excuse me this uh, organic. We've already got a bit of organic laying around. We don't really need it for anything except carbon, so we can just have this burning for now. We can collect it, store it, and have it ready to go next time we need carbon. Okay, so. If we come over here now and pop our soil canister on here, this is going to be the start of our automation chain. Let's grab this. And we're going to bring this over here. Like that. Okay. Then we want the soil centrifuge. And we want the chemistry lab. Okay, so, if we turn this to output it will and, and provide it with a single canister, it will start printing out, it will start filling it up with soil, right? And then we want this on to be producing uh, ammonium forever. Okay, so the problem, the first problem that we have is that we don't want it sticking ammonium on these six slots. We only want it to put ammonium into the chemistry lab, which is going to turn it into hydrazine. Let's get that going as well. This needs hydrogen. Okay, we should go get a hydrogen canister. And this this actually might be a good place uh, to put a, a larger hydrogen canister if we had one. Maybe I should do that. Maybe I should print up a large uh, gas canister and stick all my hydrogen into it. Then I'd have to go get more. What do we have for hydrogen? Is that the yellow ones? We're a little low. Uh, we can print up some more, though. We can get that here, right? Nitrogen, sulfur, helium, hydrogen. Yeah. Let's do one of those. Maybe a few of those. Let's get that going. And then let's print uh, the medium... What is it? The medium gas canister? I don't think I even have that unlocked. I think that would be the small printer. 
Yeah, the small printer. So, medium generator, platform, storage. Hold on. Rover stuff, paver. Rail post bundle, fault finder. Generator, RTG. Auto arm. Hold on. It's on the same level as the auto arm for some reason. Medium resource canister. Fluid and soil. Medium gas canister. This is what I want. Okay, so one silicone and one glass. Uh, so we need some more quartz. All right, well, let's temporarily have this print up uh, some quartz since all our soil is over here. Actually, no, let's not do that. Uh, where's our second soil canister? We just printed it, right? Is that this? Yeah, okay. So this goes up here. Unpack it. Let's grab the paver. Throw that on the front. And let's go fill this one up now. It should be an easier affair with the paver. Let's come back over here to where we started and make things... Yeah, here we go. Alright, so we'll come down here. Turn everything on. And I see a problem. I'm already out of uh, soil. So I need at least a little bit to get started. Let's go down just a little bit. Now, angle down. There we go. Okay, so now we just drive straight. We're getting a bunch of compound. That's fine. We'll just drive around until we get our full canister of soil. There's the blue line filling up. A little bit of resin. That's fine as well. Now we're burning through to pave, but we'll quickly go back to drilling up. Okay. There's some quartz. That's handy. Actually, since we need quartz, rather than print it, I will take off some of this compound. We don't really need this. It's easier to find. Let's just grab these. There we go. That looks good. And we can actually go ahead and drill up a little bit more here lovely deposit we found. Okay. Now we got quartz for days. Love it. Let's finish uh, filling up the soil canister here. And there we go. Nice and full. Okay. I'm going to use another tip that uh, Ziploc gave me, which is if you... Uh... Move your seat. Now I can drive forward and steer. Very cool. All right, so let's go back to base with our second full soil canister. We don't actually need it right now because we found all that quartz, which is what I was going to print with this soil. So that kind of worked out. <clears throat> and there we go. Back to base. And wait, where's where's base? Over to the left. There we go. Okay. 20 minutes in, we're gonna get this hydrazine automated, I promise you. Okay. Let's hop out and let's drop off all our cords that we just picked up. We also need more resin, it looks like. Uh, but that's okay. We can get that. Grab two more. Plus one. 
which I actually need for this medium canister. And then what do what we need? We need to make glass with this. And then we needed silicone, I think. Uh, let's drop off all this carbon that we've just made for future needs. And I don't know what we do with this extra bit of um, uh, organic. I guess we'll just throw it over here for now. All right, so what were we doing? Medium fluid and soil canister, plastic and glass. No, not, not soil canister. Uh, medium gas canister, silicone and glass. All right, so what is involved in silicone? Let's see. Silicone requires resin and quartz and methane. Okay. Uh, we've got a piece of resin here, a piece of quartz. And for methane, or as my uh, friend would say from the tiny landlocked former empire of uh, Britain, methane. There we go. Let's print up a piece of silicone. We've got a piece of glass. Uh, let's get this on repeat for now. Get a little bit more hydrogen going. Okay, silicone and glass to make our canister, our gas canister. There we go, medium gas canister. So the point of all this is to automate this so that I never have to worry about ammonium for or hydrazine again. Let's grab that, come over here. And we can pop this on here as well. Oh, actually, we need to fill it up first. So let's do that. Okay. So let's fill this up with hydrogen. Okay, that's... Wow, that holds a lot, huh? Well, we'll get some, we'll get some more going over time. And we can always pop more in if we need it. Okay. Now, we'll take this over to the platform, the automation platform that we're setting up. Okay. So now you go here, right? And shouldn't it... Oh, if we enable output, it'll work. Okay. So we'll... Enable output here, we'll enable output here. Okay, so that's automatic. Now that that's what I didn't want to happen. All right, let's enable, let's, let's fix that. He's gonna keep that. Okay, so we do need one empty soil canister as well. Uh, let's come over here and grab one of these. disable that for now okay so this will provide this with soil which will then generate the uh, ammonium which will come over here this also has hydrogen from that and it will produce uh, hydrazine right so we need two more things one we need to fill up both of these slots so that the none of these machines can output anything into them and I think I have a really good idea what I'm going to use for that if we come over to our table of crap we have these chess pieces, right? These Jasper Pawns, Rooks, and Kings. So if we use these to fill up those slots, then we can prevent the automatic storage behavior by locking everything down. So we'll put the Pawns over in front of the Soil Canister, and put the Rook and the, and the uh, King in front of the Gas Canister. And now, the only place this can go is between these two machines. The only place the outputted uh, ammonium can go is onto this machine up here. And this uh, piece of hydrazine that gets generated has nowhere to go at all. So it will always sit there until the auto arm that we're gonna build picks it up and puts it over into the hydrazine canister, which is, I think another one of these, right? Or is it a fluid? I'm not sure if it's a gas or a fluid. It might be a fluid. So let's see about that. Uh, okay, so medium gas canister. I think it's a fluid. I think we want one of these, so plastic and glass. 
Let's get the glass going. And then I know we just did plastic, but I've already forgotten what it is. It's carbon and compound. Okay, we have both of those. Oh, we don't have any compound. Oh no, all the compound I threw away at this hole over here. Okay, well, I guess we can run over and grab it. Uh, did you have anything fun? I mean, you're, you're just debris, right? There's no backpack here. No, okay. All right, we're closing in. Closing in on having this automation completed. I think we're gonna have to test it, obviously. Uh, so all the carbon, or all the compound was over here. We dropped quite a bit of it. Uh, obviously we could mine more, but we, we like dumped a bunch of nuggets. So I wanna pick them up. Here we go. One, two, three, four, and five. There we go. Okay, and I have room for one more? Yeah, let's grab one more on the way out. There we go. All right, six compound. Can I make that? No, okay. My understanding is there's another jet that you can slot a hydrazine bottle in that, that is stronger and that can fire a lot longer and then you can basically fly with it. I'm looking forward to getting that as well as the hover jet, or not the hover jet, the, uh, the hoverboard. There's like a skateboard thing that I've seen in some videos. I think we have the mission for it too. I'm not 100% I'm not on that. Okay. So we're going to print up a fluid canister for the hydrazine to go into. And then a couple of, I guess, medium, like small, medium platform A's should do the trick. Uh, what did I just do? I got a bunch of compound. Where does that go? That's resin. I guess, I guess I'll just stick it here for now. Okay, and there's our glass. Uh, let's come over to here. Oh, we need, we need the plastic first, right? Okay. And plastic was carbon and compound. We have the carbon right there. Let's print this piece of plastic. Looks like there's a bit more hydrogen over here. We can slot that in as well. Uh, I have made a mistake here. No, I'm good. I was going to say I don't have enough space left, but I do. Because this is going to reduce down to one thing. We are going to need some resin. Soonish. What is all that? Oh, that's all hydrazine. Okay, that's actually really good. We can prime our, our canister. Okay, there's the plastic. Let's get the fluid container printing. I'm fairly certain this is correct. Uh, and then let's dump off all this extra hydrogen so we don't have to worry about it for a while. Okay, looks good. Let's prime our new hydrazine, hydrazine container. Let's make sure we got this right. Yes, okay. All right. So this is going to be our output over here at some point. We also need, what, do we, what else do we need for this? We need the auto arm. Yeah. And something to put these things on, which means we're going to need resin. So let's grab the other soil container that we just filled up. Let's come over to our soil centrifuge. Pop this on there. Let's enable output. And we need to prime it with one canister, like that. 
and we want to print some resin. And then we want to take this away. There we go. Uh, what else do we need? We need the platforms, uh, which we're printing the resin for. And we need the auto arm. So, did I unlock the auto arm? Uh, let's see. It was first on something over here. We need to unlock it. We have 53,000 bytes. That's great news. Uh, and it's going to cost a, an aluminum and a graphite. Okay. Let's get that started. Aluminum and graphite. So we have sphalerite. We have aluminum. And we have graphite, right? We have plenty of graphite. We should. Did I use it all? Did I use it all up? I don't see it. We must have used it all up. All right, let me put this back for the moment. And we'll take a quick train trip out to Graphite Central. Grab six graphite and come home. Yeah, once you get this automation stuff set up, it's very nice. Like this auto extractor, I'm very happy with it. I wonder if it's still running or if it's mined the whole thing. I guess if it's if it filled up the whole canister, it has nothing left to mine, right? Yeah, you can see the green The green thing is still is still it's still got plenty to go. But the canister here is full, holding 32 nuggets. And this does seem like kind of a waste of those two. If this is not running, but whatever. We're going to be able to print lots of those. So we're going to enable output here. One, two, three, four, five, and six. There we go. Then we disable output, and now this thing should start running. There we go. Very cool. All right. Back we go. Our automated graphite extraction proving very useful. Very happy about that. This little train is kind of fun, too. It's not too long of a ride. Uh, it did say, I think, on the other engine, the core engine or whatever it was, that it was faster than this one, which is which is something to look forward to as well. Okay. Drop off some of this graphite and then print the auto arm. Let's see, where's the graphite going to go? Graphite can go over here. There we go. Okay, let's print the auto arm. Uh, we need the aluminum, right. Okay, and then we have a bunch of resin available. Uh, where are we going to put that? Fill this up with ammonium. Let's move some of the compound over. There's room for five. And then I'm not sure exactly what I want here. I want one platform for the auto arm and one platform for the hydrazine canister. So I'm not sure what I'm going to build exactly. What was this? That's the auto arm. Uh, where's storages? Or platforms, not storages. Medium platform A. Is that what I want? One resin? Yeah, that I think that's right. Let's get two of these going. Okay. And then we've got an extra piece of this lying around. I guess that's fine there. Uh, let's stop you. That's enough of that. Uh, I guess you can go over here for now. All right. I think we're almost ready here. So we want to place the auto arm such that it retrieves the hydrazine from the chemistry lab and puts it into this canister over here. So we want another one of these like this. I'm not sure of the exact uh, position at, just yet. Let's actually put the auto arm on here to find out. 
Now, I think this pulls from green and puts on yellow, right? So we wanna, we wanna turn it this way and then line that up like that. That looks pretty good. Let's lock that in. And then this thing is right, just about in the right space as well. Let's lock that in. Pop that up there. Disable output. Uh, connect everything up. Turn on, filter all items. Automatically transfer small items placed inside its input volume to its output volume, draws one unit per second of power while active. So I'm not sure how you set up the filter, but let's turn everything on and find out. No, that's wrong. Okay, let's turn it off. If I put a piece of, if I put a canister on here, turn off, okay. Where was it trying to put that, though? Where did it... Did it give it to me? Yeah, it gave it to me. That's weird. Okay. Let's put this on the arm. Filter hydrazine. Okay, now it's filtered correctly. Okay, I think we've got it now. So, I'm going to enable output. That's going to fill that up. Then this is going to print ammonium forever. This is going to turn ammonium and hydrogen into hydrazine forever. And if we turn this on... Do I have it backwards? I might have it on backwards. Or wait, no, I see. The, the filter item stays there. Maybe that's what it's doing. Hang on, let me turn it back on. Okay, so let's watch this work. There's the first ammonium. It's only got 20... It can only hold 24 fuel, so it'll turn it into 12 ammonium and 6 can canisters of hydrazine. But we can just slot another one, one of these on here, right? And it's gonna, it's gonna take a long time to burn through all that hydrogen. Oh, I'm dying, I'm dying. I'm suffocating. <laughs> I, okay, I guess I forgot to feed Stilgar there. Let's go take care of that. I noticed the red the red outline. I'm like, what is that red outline? Ah. <laughs> uh. There we go, okay. So, one to eat, one for later, one for later for you. Okay, let's go back and check out if our automation is working. Oh, don't, don't do that. That's not pleasant. Okay, so, I can't, I can't tell. This is holding four of 24. We're gonna have to wait for this to burn up another spin up another ammonium. It's, it's eating through this very quickly, though. But what can you do, right? I think I've understood this correctly. I, I think it must have worked because there's nothing in there and it should have printed one up by now. But you place one here to, to set the filter and then it'll only grab that type of item, right? So it's not, it's not trying to grab these jaspers. Here we go. There's our second ammonium. This is going to start printing another one. Chemistry lab is making hydrazine. Any auto arm. Has stored it in the canister. Success. Hey, how about that? So, this is going to slowly fill up with hydrazine. And all we have to do is occasionally throw another, uh, another one of these on. Another canister full of soil. Which is really easy. And it'll solve all of our hydrazine needs. And actually, while we're at it, let's take a look at the shuttle here. Yeah, we need some more. So let's uh, enable output over here.
Okay, so that's just going to run away producing hydrazine for us. That's fantastic. And we could further refine that. We could extend that out to be producing large chains of materials. Like we could produce auto produce nanocarbon alloy um, with the right setup. The trick is making sure that the output only goes where you want it to. And so that's, that's something at least that these Jasper pawns are useful for. Um, since I'm not going to play multiplayer and play chess with somebody. Uh, okay. So, well, that took most of the episode, but hey, we've got Hydrazine automated. That's fun. And let's collect our mission reward. Arm yourself. Uh, one large extended platform and the schematic for the large extended platform. Okay. So, I don't know when we're going to use this. Oh, I see. This has, like, built-in distances for the... Uh, for the auto arm a platform with an extended frame designed to support auto arms yeah we could we could i guess we could actually replace these these two here and use it like that uh yeah let's let's do that hold on let's tr let's uh let's get this set up with this this new platform so we'll unconnect this Let's move these. I don't know what these are going to be used for now, but let's use this new thing. Okay, so... You come like... What, like this? Oh, that's actually taking up quite a bit more room. But I suppose, technically, we can do something... No, we can't do that. It has to be ortho or perpendicular. So now if we put this on here... I see. So really, we don't need it to be quite that close. You can see this is right at the edge of the, uh, right at the edge of its of its blue circle range here. But it does sort of allow you to kind of space things out, I guess. Does that look right? All right, let's lock that in place, and let's get it wired up. Okay, so there you go. And now we got a couple of extra doodads here. I suppose I can throw uh, a medium, I could throw like a medium storage on here and put clean up some of this mess, right? Like all these RTGs lying around. Let's throw this over into the, uh, the hodgepodge O electricity, which I'm never, never going to clean up. <laughs> and uh, all right, so there's automation and our new extended platform. That was our reward. And I think we unlocked a new mission as well. Let's take a look at that. Uh, stuffed storage. Print and fill a medium resource canister. Oh, I actually did that. That's 500 bytes. I'll take that. And then unearthed. Print and extract. Print an extractor. Extract a resource nugget. Oh, we did that with the graphite a while ago. Did I never collect this? Extractors automatically dig up resource nuggets. Large resource canister. Uh, I have to collect this at the launch pad. Okay, so there's our large resource canister. I don't know. Wow, that's enormous. I don't know what we would use this for, but we'll just, I guess we'll just leave it here with our coal for now. And we'll figure out a use for it later. Uh, if we look at our other ch others, yeah, we still have to, we have to unlock the coal and print the, the other curious piece or whatever it's called, the unusual device. And did we get a new mission after unlocking the auto arm? I don't think so. Chasing signals, multi-core processing, something out there. Unlock potential, we're very close on this. Close on this, cracking caches. Find and explode an exo cache. I suppose we could do that. We've got, uh, well, you know what, guys? I'm gonna call it here, I'm gonna take a break. Because uh, that ended up taking up the whole episode. That's that's almost 45 minutes. And when we come back, we will get back on track, pun intended, <laughs> with the uh, the rail mission. So we'll do we'll place the unusual piece, and uh, probably get set up to build a rail network here on Silva. To I don't know, maybe go maybe it's telling us to go down to the core and collect astronium, or I don't know what's down there, but we'll find out soon enough. As, as always, uh, thank you so much for watching, and uh, until next time, take care.